Hello, my name is Reuben Duncan, Superintendent of the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District. In an effort to increase communication with students, parents, and the community at large, we have decided to try something a little different. We have created a video communication so everyone has a chance to watch and provide feedback on their own time. The school district, in alignment with some of the recently approved school board goals, has placed an emphasis on the following topic areas for the upcoming school year. Curriculum and instruction, facilities, safety, and communication. After watching all or part of this video, we invite you to fill out a brief survey so we can gather your thoughts on this new communication method. We will also offer an opportunity for questions which could be answered in a future communication to the public. The link to the survey is provided below. While I hope you take the time to watch the video in its entirety, you can also view specific sections by clicking one of the links below. I'm excited for the upcoming 2019 school year. The 2018-19 school year brought with it a few changes relative to grading and assessment of learning. The focus of the year itself was on instruction. To that end, we made it our goal to make sure that all the teachers in the district had some common training on research-based best practices to approaching instruction and the science behind student learning. Last year also marked the completion of the initial curriculum work we started in the 2016-17 school year. To date, all curriculum progressions in each subject area have been completed from preschool through graduation. These documents, which will always be a work in progress, paired with district-wide common training, serve as the foundation for all the work we have ahead of us. At the elementary schools and throughout the district, we have been working to follow the guidelines put forth in our strategic design. We continue to develop curriculum that focuses on content knowledge, what we want students to know, complex reasoning, what we want students to be able to do, and the habits of mind. Our staff works hard to create positive and supportive learning environments for all students. We do this by planning authentic and relevant instruction where students can be inspired and engaged. We all believe that every child can be successful and we do this by building relationships and by learning what students already know so we can instruct them at their level. The years spent in elementary school are where a child not only learns the foundation of core subjects, but also the importance of being a good friend, how to share, and how to advocate for oneself. These years teach students about their environment and society in order to foster interests and duty and responsibility within one's own community. The 2018-19 school year also served as a launch point for several key district initiatives that were developed through careful research to best provide our learners with a leg up in the future. The first initiative was a full day approach to preschool. The state and national research indicates clearly that providing quality early childhood opportunities will result in stronger, healthier communities. Our full day program was held at the Jaffrey grade school and it received students from both Ringe and Jaffrey. We of course learned some lessons about what we could do better in the future, but the first year pilot proved to be successful as measured by the number of students we now have on a waiting list for this play-based program. I plan to present a proposal to the school board during the 2019-20 budget process to expand our efforts with early childhood education. As I stated previously, as a district we focused on the topic of instruction throughout all of the schools. This coming school year, we will be zeroing in on assessment of learning. Our learning facilitators across the district will be digging deep into the district's learning progressions, collaborating regularly with each other to analyze school and district data, developing assessments that more accurately match the higher order thinking skills that our progressions require and our students need, and using the information gained through these assessments to make determinations for learner, school, and district-wide improvement. As a vehicle for ensuring that consistency, collaboration, and innovation become the norm throughout the Jaffrey Ringe Cooperative School District, we will be changing the model for the oversight and leadership of curriculum, instruction, and assessment. By the start of the 2020-21 school year, 
we will have moved from a single person in the role of curriculum director to three teams of teachers that will be responsible for the district data analysis and the development and implementation of structures and approaches that will lead to continuous district-wide improvement. Each team, one for curriculum, one for assessment, and one for instruction, will consist of teachers from across the grade levels and subject areas, a school level administrator, and members from the community. In preparation for this shift, we saw the need to provide our learning facilitators with increased opportunities for growth in curriculum and in leadership. So in partnership with Keene State College, we designed and will be implementing the Jaffrey Ringe Leadership Academy, a 15 credit opportunity that consists of five graduate level courses in the area of school leadership, supervision, and curriculum leadership. I am proud to say that we currently have 32 teachers spanning across all grade levels and subject areas committed to taking part in this program. This effort is funded through federal grant monies that the district receives for the purpose of professional development. 2019-20 promises to be an exciting year for the Jaffrey Ringe Cooperative School District. Our staff cannot wait to see your learners this coming fall. Until then, be sure to enjoy the last few weeks of summer vacation. The Jaffrey Ringe Cooperative School District is committed to maintaining safe, clean, well-functioning schools and doing so in a fiscally responsible manner. We completed an energy project across the entire district which consisted of replacing every oil boiler with cleaner, high-efficiency propane boilers. Additionally, at the high school, middle school complex, a biomass boiler was put into place as the primary mode of heating during the colder months. The school also has a propane system for backup and for heating in the off-season. In addition to heating, a new air exchange system was put into each of the schools. This not only supports more efficient heating and cooling in each school, it consistently brings in fresh air from the outdoors. The majority of lighting throughout each school has been updated to LED, which has led to improved lighting and a decrease in energy spending. These improvements led to a savings of around $50,000 in the first year and has improved comfortability and consistency in our learning environments. This past year, we focused on water system improvements at the Ringe Memorial School, drainage improvements at the Jaffrey Grade School, painting across all of the schools, flooring at both the elementary schools, and safety security upgrades in all of our buildings. Here at the Jaffrey Ringe Cooperative School District, we have made vast improvements in the last two years to make these schools a place where students, parents, faculty, and teachers can be proud to come. We have made vast improvements in safety, security, efficiency, and comfort to make this place some place where students are comfortable to learn. In response to Homeland Security reports and suggestions, we reinforced all first story windows with 3M safety film, increased cameras in all of the common areas in each school, and renovated the front entrance of the middle high school complex. The school district was approved for grant funds up to 80% of the total cost of these upgrades. When you enter the elementary schools this year, Ringe families will notice that the gym floor has been sanded and refinished. For the first time ever, the school's mascot will be featured at center court. That's one mean-looking eagle. For the Jaffrey grade school families, when you walk into the school, you will notice that all of the flooring and the hallways and the cafeteria have been replaced. The new marmoleum tiles are brighter and laid out in a more modern and aesthetically pleasing pattern. For the upcoming year, we plan to finalize a multi-year asset management plan, complete a district maintenance plan, and continue the work of enhancing our facilities. One exciting project in the works is a collaboration between the high school's building trades program and the facilities department. During the 2019-20 school year, we plan to have students from the building trades program build on-site storage for our district's maintenance equipment and vehicles. This collaboration will provide a meaningful educational experience to our students and help the district financially by reducing the need for outside storage. Over the past couple of years, our business administrator, Carrie Broderick, and facilities manager, David Riley, along with their maintenance and ground staff, have done a fantastic job of consistently improving our facilities. None of it is possible without the support from our community and the consistent leadership and guidance of the school board's facilities committee.
The 2018-19 school year brought with it a heightened focus on safety throughout all of our schools. As the definition of safety is quite broad, our efforts last year to improve safety reflected a multifaceted approach. An administrative role was redefined last year for the purpose of overseeing our continuous safety and culture work at the middle high school. We increased professional development and safety training to students, staff, and parents through our partnership with Blue U Defense. Additionally, each school underwent facility improvements. Specifically at the middle high school, in accordance with Homeland Security's recommendation, we made one main entrance to the middle high school building, redesigned the front entrance to tighten up access to the school, added additional security cameras throughout the common areas, and secured our windows. Similar work with regard to cameras and the windows was completed at both elementary school facilities. The literature regarding safety is clear about a few items. First, school culture plays a large role in the safety of the school. A constructive, non-punitive approach to student discipline will help improve school culture. Secondly, learners thrive when they feel that school is a welcoming place where their voice truly matters and when they have an overall sense of belonging. Tied directly with those concepts is the importance of learner involvement in extra and co-curricular activities. The more our learners are involved outside of the typical school day, the more they feel connected. Additionally, students who regularly involve themselves in activities such as sports or the arts or other clubs are less likely to take part in risky behaviors. Thirdly, our learners need strong, healthy adult role models and relationships. To go along with that, our school needs to continue to improve our mental health supports for our learners. And lastly, it is important that when our learners are faced with an emergency situation, they can think for themselves as to the best way to respond. With regard to behavioral support, our secondary schools implemented a new discipline process school-wide that had an increased focus on problem solving and education. All teachers in the district took part in professional development with Dr. Ross Green, author of The Explosive Child and Lost at School. His research and approaches have informed much of what we have started to do in our schools. Elementary student parent handbooks are being updated to include some newly adopted school board safety policies, and the middle high school student parent handbook has been completely rewritten. Both the new middle high school handbook and the new activities handbook lay out expectations and the approaches that will be taken when students fall short of meeting those expectations. Please be sure to review those guidelines with your children. Student connectedness is incredibly important. Our learners need to feel good about their school and good about themselves. The district has put a greater emphasis for the upcoming year on making certain that all of our K-12 learners are involved in activities that interest them and that are motivating for them. Overseeing this effort is our new district activities director, Heather Lindstad. She, along with the athletic director, David Springfield, our school administrators, and our staff will be enhancing our current programming so that we can increase involvement. We will also work with our learners to develop new activities and clubs that interest them. The main goal is to, to find as many activities that the students want to participate and um, do a lot of different things so that they can kind of find their passion and mix it with their education, what they're learning in school and how that can translate to other things after school. Our professional staff will utilize a more formal approach to support our learners on a social-emotional level. Last year was the first year of our Connect team. This team, led by former Assistant Superintendent and Director of Student Services David Beauchamp, has increased the amount of social-emotional support in our secondary school and with our families in the community. The Connect team is a middle high school initiative that assess students struggling with social and emotional conflicts. Referrals are typically made by the child's guidance counselor or teacher school administrator. Healthy relationships are as critical to our children as they are to adults. Belonging, especially feeling like you belong, can directly affect how available a child is for learning. The Connect Team's collaborative goals are designed to develop more effective coping strategies. The Connect Team becomes an advocate for the student until they can independently navigate their issues. If you feel your child's social and emotional issues are significantly interfering with their home, school, or community life, 
contact your school guidance counselor to discuss assistance. The Connect team not only provides direct support to learners and their families, they also actively pursue outside supports and partnerships to increase what can be offered. One of these partnerships, Antioch New England University, has provided our school and our families with much of this support. For the upcoming school year, we will be expanding the Connect team supports, increasing the number of community partnerships and enhancing the existing partnership with Antioch University in Keene in a way that will provide increased social emotional support to our elementary clientele. As we enter a new school year, we plan to extend our work with Blue U Defense so that it encompasses the entire district, not just the secondary school. This continued relationship will provide the district and families with training appropriate for all ages and regular consultation on the safety of our practices and our facilities. Additionally, we are going to work with our local police and fire departments to jointly plan and execute trainings and activities. Last year, a committee of parents and teachers was formed to develop a communication plan for the district, which was completed and adopted last spring. The committee was tasked with creating a document that examined areas the district could improve on its communication, and to set forth action steps and outcomes through 2020. The following vision helped to anchor the document. Communication must reflect the district's core values. Communication is timely, accurate, consistent, clear and concise, easily accessible, relevant, and effective. Communication is mindful of audience, content, and purpose. Communication is characterized by active listening and a respectful exchange of ideas. And lastly, all stakeholders understand that communication is a two-way street. The plan is focused on both internal and external communication. Work is currently being done to audit how the district currently communicates with students, staff, parents and community members so that the new methods of communication can be implemented, while existing methods of communication can be strengthened as needed. All district communication tools, software and procedures are also being looked at so that redundancies can be eliminated and gaps in communication can be filled. The district recently hired Communication Coordinator and School Board Secretary Nicholas Handy to oversee the implementation of the plan so communication can be improved throughout the school community. My passion for this district began over four years ago when I started reporting on these two communities for the Monadnock Ledger transcript. During my tenure with the paper, I spent many nights listening at school board meetings, many days interviewing students and teachers about their interests, and many hours picking the minds of administrators about the direction this district is heading. There's a lot of great work going on inside our schools and I'm happy that it's part of my job to showcase that to the community. I'm also excited to work on strengthening all levels of communication so everyone is receiving the appropriate information as needed. Communication is a two-way street so I look forward to a continued relationship with our staff, parents, students, and the community. Please email me at n.handy at sau47.org with any questions or comments you may have. Much work has been done over the summer to enhance the website, to develop communications related databases, to increase social media and website postings, and to improve internal communication. As we continue to strengthen and improve our communication both internally and externally, we ask that you also work to continue communicating with us as we value your input. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that this new form of communication was successful and afforded more people an opportunity to gain some insight into all the work that has been and will continue to be done throughout the district. As stated before, we have attached a brief survey to gather your thoughts about this method of communication and topics discussed in this video. We encourage you to take the opportunity to fill out the survey. Your questions and comments may form the basis of future communication. I hope you are all able to enjoy the last few weeks of summer.